Hi, a customer just dropped off her rackets with two different strings. One has a hybrid and the other has a synthetic and wants them restrung with the same strings. She also mentioned that her grips feel a little bit different. So take a look at these grips. I don't know if you can see that, but one is an eighth and the other one is a three eighths. So in this video, I'll also be making her grips the same. All right, let's go inside. The funny thing about these two rackets, when my customer, Michelle, dropped them off, uh, she didn't want them to have the same strings, which is pretty obvious. But when she mentioned about the grip, it didn't seem so obvious to her. I mean, she did say one is slightly bigger, but two sizes, that's a lot, at least to me. So let me show you what I mean. All right, so let's take a look at these two rackets. I am going to measure them because I want to make sure I know what the actual size is. They both have over grips wrapped on top of it. So I have the four and one eighth grip here and I'm gonna go ahead and use my grip sizer. I featured this in a previous video, so I'll provide the link below. And uh, this one's coming in right at a four and a quarter. So when I hold this up, you'll see that there is a line. It might be hard to see, but I'll bring it up. Uh, there is a line that uh, that's right up to that number two mark and uh, that bold line. So this is uh, coming in at four and a quarter with the overgrip. And on the second one, uh, right where I'm gonna take the measurement, there's a lot of overlap. So I'm gonna just bring it up here just to see what we're looking at here. And this one's coming in quite large, actually between a half and a five eighths. I'm gonna try and take the measurement here and see what we have here. Yeah, so this one's coming in closer to a four and a half. So uh, the line is right up to that number four mark, which is a four and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this grip down to a three eighths and bring this grip up to a four and three eighths. All right, so I just removed the over grip on this racket number one. And I just want to measure to confirm the uh, uh, grip size. So it is a four and one eighth. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this grip and I'm gonna build it up using a heat shrink sleeve, but I'm gonna use the half size, not the regular full size. And uh, I'll tell you why later. But the goal again is to get the grip to measure out at four and three eighths when I'm done. So I just finished installing the heat shrink sleeve and this is the half size. And um, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start adding over grips on top of it. And I'm gonna be using the technique in my uh, other video and uh, I'll leave the link called custom overgrip wrap. And the goal is for me to get it up to about a four and a quarter or slightly less. And the reason for that is in the end, there's gonna be one final wrap that's gonna go over it that'll bring it up to about a four and three eighths. All right, so I just finished wrapping the three layers of overgrip using my custom overgrip wrap technique. And uh, I use the Prince Resi Pro. In fact, this is what I use for that technique. Uh, I like it because it has good thickness to it. And as you stretch it, it doesn't thin out and it has really good padding. So with those three layers that I just wrapped, it's now at a four and a quarter. So let me just double check. Yeah, it's exactly a four and a quarter. Uh, so you can take a look at what I did. You'll notice that there's no overlaps on this and you can see the multiple layers there. So now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna wrap the final overgrip on top of this and I'm gonna measure it and it should come out to four and three eighths or maybe a little bit more, but I'm gonna use this Yonex Super Grab for that. All right, taking the final measurement and I'll bring it up, but I also took a photo so you can see it. You'll notice that there's a vertical line running between numbers three and four. That means it's in between sizes, which is a three eighths and a half. So this one passes the inspection. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and work on racket number two and match it up. All right, so before I start racket number two, I have to show you what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a totally different approach because on this one, it's already four and three eighths. So let me just measure it just to make sure and I just want to make sure I know what I'm starting with. So yeah, it's right there. And so what I'm going to do is I want to actually maintain the grip size. So on this one, I'm going to use two layers of uh, Prince Resi Pro 
And then the final layer will be this Yonex Supergraph. So I'll go ahead and get started with that and I'll come back to you. Okay, taking the final measurement on racket number two, and it's right there, right between three and number four. So these two rackets are perfectly matched in terms of the grip. Now I did mention earlier in um, racket number one that I was gonna use the, uh, the half size on the uh, heat shrink sleeve. And the reason for that is that this weighs half of what the full size would be. So in fact, this is about 10 grams and this is about 20. So I was a little bit concerned if I use this that the differential would be a lot bigger. Uh, I mean, it would because it's 10 grams more. But let's take a look at the overall weight between these two rackets. And they did start off at the same uh, amount. I mean, same, same weight. So we'll take a look at it in grams and then I'll convert it over into um, ounces. So this is racket number one. And this one's coming in at 264 in grams. And in ounces, that would be 9.4. And if we take a look at racket number two, uh, remember that was 9.4. So this one's coming in at nine ounces. And in grams, so there it is, 255. So that, there is a 10 gram difference now. So uh, I was, again, I was a little concerned if I, if I made it uh, with the full size sleeve and maybe use one less overgrip, I probably would have, still match the grips but again the weight difference was going to be quite a bit although most players can't tell the difference when there's weight added to the handle of a racket i felt adding 20 grams would have been a little much so by using this application and going with the half size heat shrink sleeve i was able to get these rackets specced closer together within 10 grams i did want to clarify that earlier in the video i mentioned a couple of times that i was trying to match these two grips to a 4 and 3 8 grip size. However, towards the end of the video, I mentioned that the grip actually fell between a 3 8 and a half, and that was totally acceptable. Well, I just wanted to let you know that when a grip is brand new, sometimes it can be a half size larger. And over time, as a player uses it, it does compress to a smaller grip size. So hopefully that makes sense, or maybe I confused it even more. Anyway, I'll go ahead and string these up and I hope to get a reaction from Michelle when she picks them up. Look who's here to pick up her racket. It's Michelle. Oh, hi, Albert. Hi. Oh my goodness, oh, they check look it beautiful. Out. They look brand new. See if you can tell the difference in the grip. They feel good. It wasn't like that before. How did you do that? You have to watch the video. Okay, I will. Michelle's happy, so. I am. Thanks for watching. Play with Aloha. And and let oh and we've got to ding it yeah and let your string play so it'll be like that I guess I should be happy thanks for watching play with the lohang let your strings fly <laughs> did I say that right Michelle's happy thanks for watching play with the lohang and <laughs> well I guess Michelle's happy she's gonna play better right I expect to all right thanks for watching play with the lohang. Let, Let your strings, strings play. play.